kind of lead me into, you know, I'm going to watch, I want to watch, you know, what, what the turf interaction looks like. We may put you in different situational okay. from like a yardage that you're real comfortable with, okay. maybe some that you're not comfortable with, whatever. It's not that difficult, yeah. but we just want to get some measurable, you know, looks at things. Do you like that flight? No, I like it a lot lower. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty high. Yeah. And it's a lot of that, the sole of that wedge is, is, it's got a lot of kick to it. You can hear it, you can hear that heavy thump where it's, we're getting a lot of lift. And that's, you know, I'm watching you, you're very conscious of that right now. If trying to get down, you've got to consciously try to get that sole under that, under that ball. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and hit a few more. Good swing, smooth. It's good, Paul. I think, I think just from watching these shots that you've hit, um, I think we need to, I think we need to get a longer wedge in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think your, I think your posture is, I think that you're set up you're having to work to really work to, you're kind of reaching down there after the golf ball. Mm -hmm. And if we, we'll figure out how much, but we make these wedges a little longer, I think it will change your setup from the standpoint. You can get your upper body a little more comfortable and where you don't feel like you're, cause you, he's swinging like he's reaching down for it, isn't he? Kind of, Yeah. This is good to get out here and do this because you don't you don't notice some things until you watch each individual you know person that we work with here mm -hmm. the type of shots that they want to hit right that was good Compared to where the numbers are on your 50 and where this progression should be, that call, golf club will measure it when we go back into the shop in there. It's over length. So, and I can see that in the way you swing that golf club, it's a whole lot easier for you to get it to the golf ball. That, this range we're at right now, your home course, 54 or 58? That would be 54. Plenty of green to work yeah, with. Yeah, that would be 54. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I would uh, definitely do that. We might even grab a 50 if the fly was a little more flatter. Yep. Hit this next one with the thought of how this is how I'd like to hit this shot, Mike, and and I want to see what that looks like. You position your hands where you think that is not necessarily to make the tool that's in your hands work. I want to see. You try to hit it like you want to execute that shot from right there. That's what he wanted to do. That hit? I like it a little lower. I mean, that wasn't bad. It might be more of a technique issue than a club issue. Yeah, I think you're deselling a little bit because you're concerned about the t turf interaction. Yeah. I think that's I think that's where that's beginning, okay. you know, because if you're afraid you're going to stick it, then you're apprehensive about driving it in there. And this is a shot right here where we need you to be comfortable to drive it in there. You know, it's about it takes a certain amount of club head speed to make the golf ball behave the way you want it to from where you're at right now. You know, I've talked about some some things that I may I may get you to test, you know, from the standpoint of what we're seeing right here because this is part of that balance you can sit there and hit great full shots but we got to play from here too that wedge needs to perform very well from here I agree. you know you need to feel here not necessarily the threat of I'm here but I'm here and I'm gonna get up and down from here every time mm -hmm. and that it's all about what we're thinking when we start getting into that shot 
because it is relative to the tool of what the tool is capable of doing and what your relative thoughts are of being able to do with it. Switch tools. Because there's some differences between these soles uh -huh. and that's what I want to look at from here is that what the differences of these That was good. Yeah. I liked that. That was the execution there was good. And I liked what I saw and what I heard and everything. And that one we will make some notes okay. based upon based upon that. Thank you, sir. Got some pitching wedge. We gotta measure that when we go in. So Paul, you're in from uh, Colorado to do a wedge fitting artisan golf with Mike Taylor. How'd that uh, come about? It was interesting. I had uh, talked to many good players in Colorado and in Texas, uh, my son being one of them, and he said it's a difference in his game. He's gone from a three or four handicap to a plus one, and he says, Dad, it's about the wedges. And he says, these guys are professionals. They know what they're doing. They can look at your swing and make the adjustments, and then all of a sudden, instead of being a little timid with the wedges, you're attacking and, and taking, taking apart par fives and short par fours. And uh, I'd messed around with the, with the stuff off the shelf for years, and I was like, it's time for a change. So come down here to see the boys, and see what we can do. <laughs> well, we appreciate your, that. Yeah. yeah we appreciate that fun. a lot. How did your uh, son find out about Arsenal? You know, I'm not sure. He's kind of a junkie. He's on your guys' website quite a bit with WRX, <laughs> and I think there, there was some buzz going on about these guys taking over the oven, and uh, I think there was enough really good players in the DFW area that had started to kind of talk about this product. and. Uh, It'll be interesting to see how all this works out because I'm up just just from what we've done here in the last hour. It's been a big difference just as talking about different grinds and bounces and length of clubs and opportunities to hit different types of shots. So it's uh, it'll be fun. How did you guys uh, get in touch? Was it through Instagram or you guys you had his contact from your son? Yeah, we kind of did the old thing. He's been on me for a couple of months to get down here, and it's been just busy with life. And uh, finally, he says. I'm going to send you Mike Taylor's info. That way you guys have to get together. So, you know, <laughs> making you it, working yeah. it out. So, yeah, it's, it's a neat facility. And it's, you know, you got pro guys and they're doing the work. So it's, I'm really excited about it. What, uh, what sticks did he bring you? And what do well, you think we're, you're going to do? We're, we're really excited to have, you know, Paul come here. I really appreciate, you know, his son, you know, putting a good word in with, with dad, with how his experience went with us. But it's, it's a process. And it's a process that we've, you know, learned more and more about as the years have gone on. Um, you know, we get some, we get his tools in here. And there's a lot to be learned from from that. Uh, what you like about what you're playing today, or what you don't. Um, you know, we can expose, you know, players to other situations, whether it be different shafts. You know, but I think we've learned something from watching the number of shots that he's hit here um, that I think we're going to get into a situation where we're going to adjust the length of his wedges some. Uh, he's pretty tall. Um, he's playing very standard uh, length parts. And it's kind of challenging him to get that comfortable interaction with the club base and the ball. He's having to reach for it a lot. So we get that. I think we've seen some things that are, you know, some soul related things that we'll make some adjustments on. The long game uh, is a little out of balance right now with the short game where we were just testing. We need to get him in that really comfortable, aggressive mindset is that he's in the, and balance these, balance that lob wedge for him with, you know, the length adjustment. Um, we'll look the lives over really good. And then we're gonna work on, you know, the soles from the standpoint of bringing that, that balance to his game. Is this your uh, first wedge fitting ever? Yes. How about starting with the best, Mike Taylor? Huh? It's fantastic. It's <laughs> Welcome been, to the world of wedge fitting. I don't know it about is that. really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I'm better grinding them than I am fitting them. I've known some good fitters, and they've you know helped me understand you know what the important aspects of a lot of it is where we fit. We've got to go to places here. We learned that you know at this place or when you're at a golf course, 
you don't necessarily want to make a wedge fitting uh you don't want to tee it up for somebody because the difficult shots are the ones where we got to work on these tools so that that's not a penalty right i will work on these tools hard to make that's a difficult lie that we would use tested oh, yeah. and we'll get him in a place where that won't be that much of a concern i'm very confident of that awesome thank you guys thank you